Yo, watch this right here and come back for my commentary. Pretty much all of us have been taught by white people who've 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 been taught by white people using textbooks written for about white people. You pretty much only ever had white teachers. So if you're white, you were relentlessly reflected at the front of the room and you could get through graduate school without having a teacher of color, right? Maybe one, maybe two. And if you're a person of color, rarely, if ever, did you see yourself reflected at the front of the room. So that teaching force, which is upwards of 93% white across the nation, and yet these teachers are now in the position to decide who's smart, who, who belongs where, who should be punished for what. And we see this empirically in the outcomes of tracking, special ed referrals, punishment, expulsion, the school to prison pipeline. Like, I don't think y'all truly understand what Robin D'Angelo was saying here and how true it is. For instance, firstly, let's establish that roughly 80% of all teachers in this country are white, and in some districts that can be as many as honestly, 100%. Concurrently, black educators account for about 6% of all educators. For black men, it's about 1.3%. And in some areas like Minnesota, where I spoke recently, black men are only 0.5% of all educators. There is overwhelming research and data that proves that black teachers are better for black students. And in fact, white teachers are harmful or bad for our kids. Having a black teacher means our kids will perform better on standardized tests, and black children who have black teachers are more likely to go to college and less likely to drop out. Black teachers are also more likely to recommend black students for gifted programs, and they're less likely to suspend, expel, or refer them for discipline issues. Oh, and this impact isn't just had on black students. Black teachers had a positive impact on every student, all students, regardless of their background. For example, being signed a black teacher improved students' reading and math scores and decreased chronic absenteeism by roughly 60%. So does this mean that black folks are just better teachers than white folks? Well, no, not necessarily. I mean, we can all probably say that we've had great teachers of all backgrounds. I know I have, but it's something that black folks as educators mostly do differently that we can all learn from. And that is black teachers culturally demand better and have higher expectations for their black students. And not just for their black students, but for all students. And as an educator of 12 years, where 10 years are taught in a diverse school, I can tell you that this is true. On the flip side, studies show that white teachers, when given the same student as a black teacher, is less likely to see that child as college material. And why is that? Well, it's based on social conditioning. White teachers work from within a hegemonic Western epistemological framework, which often predisposes them to have lower expectations of black students and a lack of respect for the students' families and primary culture. We're not saying that black teachers can wave a magic wand, but what we're saying is this research suggests that white teachers' failure to address or value black students' primary culture could also be a significant factor in their academic success. So what do we do moving forward? Well, the first step is, of course, we need more black educators, but it's not enough to just say we need more black teachers. Y'all know how I feel. Representation matters is an incomplete sentence. We need to cultivate, mentor and recruit black folks who we know have a nurturing, caring, and conscious spirit that's in tune with our culture to go into the classroom. Number two, white folks, there's hope for you. You need to truly challenge yourself, question yourself, reflect and understand that you are included in these studies. No matter how much you've learned or how many of my videos you've watched and understand that you have to set those high expectations for our kids and also understand the backgrounds in which they come from. And no, expectations alone won't cure this, but starting with that as an endpoint means that you'll understand the barriers that are in place and work to remove them using your place of privilege and your position to power to make sure that they can be as successful as they are supposed to be. Because let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it real. 
If you don't have relationships with black folks outside of what you see in the media where we are mostly depicted as gang members, gang bangers, gangsters and thugs, and you're not reading books and you're not unlearning and you're not committed to this anti-racist life, then how do you expect to view our kids differently when you go into the class if this is the prototype that you have for blackness? The third thing, and this is not a full list, but this is what I'm giving you now, read, learn, understand that you don't know it all. Sign up for that online course that you need to sign up for. Your college did not prepare you for this. Your life did not prepare you for this. So at this point in your life, you're at a preschool level primarily in terms of understanding racial issues and understanding black culture. So act like that. Act like that because you'll continue to have this hunger and thirst for knowledge. That bachelor's degree, that master's degree, that doctorate you got, that don't mean nothing when you're talking about what we're dealing with. Matter of fact, in the classroom, we have a doctorate in our experience and you are the child. And lastly, do not expect your black friends or black co-workers or black acquaintances to teach you a thing. This is your responsibility. You must commit to it. You must invest in it. You must bring in experts, myself and other people do this type of work for a living. What Robin D'Angelo talked about here is a reality, but it doesn't have to be if we are committed to making a change moving forward. You ready to do the work?